Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again, and I want to welcome everybody back to another video. And today, I am continuing on with the Silent Night, Deadly Night reviews, and I will be talking about the first of many sequels, Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2. Now, I think this is the only one that has Part 2 in it. The rest are just 3, 4, and 5. But, oh well. And I did like this. Um, I was a little off put by it while I was watching it and I'll get into that uh, a little bit later in the review but at the end of the day I ended up liking this movie it was a it was a good little sequel uh, but I heard this was the only one that was good from here everything kind of turned into a, a boar fest but we'll see what happens but before I go any further if anybody well number one before I go any further garbage day and then also, if anyone would like to help contribute to the channel by sending in a paid request, you may do so down below in the description box. There is a link to my PayPal account. No amount is too big. No amount is too small. It does not have to be just a movie review. It could be a TV series or a cartoon or a comic book or a video game, music, random thoughts and rants and streams and commentaries and anything in between. That's what the paid request is set up for. So again, if that's something that you are interested in, go ahead, send it in, and I will get to it as soon as I possibly can. Uh, like I keep saying, I am getting pretty uh, caught up on these, so if you send one in, don't worry about it. It will be coming uh, pretty soon here, so go for it. Um, but for those that have sent them in before, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. It means you guys actually care about what I say and do here on the channel and you want to see me try out some different things and it does motivate me to keep wanting to make videos so it's a win-win for everybody so thank you but Silent Night Deadly Night Part 2 um this is not a direct you know right after the previous movie ended but this is a sequel this is a continuation of the previous film this time we focus on the little brother character now at the end of the first movie, the little brother looked up after his older brother got killed by the cops and said naughty. So it was hinted that he might be the killer in the sequel. And spoiler alert, he is. Um, so this one is a little bit different in terms of narrative and how they did that stuff. So most of the movie is actually told in a flashback. Uh, the character, uh, Ricky, because Billy was the original character, but Ricky is in a mental institution. He got locked up because he murdered a bunch of people, which is explained all in a flashback. Now, the weird thing is the first 40 minutes of the movie is a retelling of the first movie, complete with archival footage. So they actually took... Uh, you know, most of the footage, most of the highlights from the first movie and put it in the first 40 minutes of this movie. Now, there is a specific reason why they did that, which I will get to. And then the rest of it, Ricky is talking about, you know, he got adopted and his dad died. His adopted dad died and that set him off. And then he became an adult and things would set him off and he would just start killing people. And then he found he had a girlfriend. It was actually the lady, because I'm looking at her, I'm like, this this girl, this lady looks really, really familiar. She was in Friday the 13th Part 7, The New Blood. She was the girl that Jason threw out of the window, which was not her original death, but she was that girl. And I'm like, she looks really familiar. And I'm like, oh, that's why, because she's in Friday the 13th Part 7, which is one of my favorites. But he has a girlfriend, the ex-boyfriend comes in, he kills him, he kills her you know, kill some other people, he gets arrested, and then the last 15 minutes, a little bit more than 15 minutes of the movie, is kind of told in real time where he kills his doctor, he gets out, and he goes after Mother Superior from the first film, played by a different actress for Revenge, gets her, the cops shoot him, he falls out the window, looks at the camera, smiles, and that leads into part three, I'm assuming. But I'll get, I haven't watched part three yet. So we'll get there when we get there. But yeah, now the reason why they 
the first basically half of the movie was just stock footage from the first movie. Now, when the first movie came out, you know, in the the 10 days that it was in theaters before it got pulled, it actually made quite a bit of money. It made its budget back and actually turned out a healthy profit. And then it did even better on video and such. So they wanted to do a sequel, but they didn't want to give anybody money to do a sequel. They gave the production very little money. So that's why almost half of the movie is just footage that's reused from the previous one because the originally what they were going to do was re-edit the first movie and make it look like a sequel which they have definitely done that numerous times over the years not just with horror films but they have done that with a lot of movies over the years where they've just simply re-edited stuff and pass it off as a new one they were going to do that and then they ended up not doing it but they still used a good chunk of the footage from the first movie anyway. So that's the specific reason why the first half of the movie is just Ricky recalling what happened in the first film and them using all the footage. And then also, when they're in the movie theater, the movie that they're watching is all the footage from when the <clears throat> when the uh, guy that killed Ricky and Billy's family went into the convenience store. So I was like, all right, cool. And then the rest of it they shot later as its own thing. But I did like it. And again, I was a little off-putting at first because I'm like, oh, great, here we go. They're just going to reuse all the footage and try to pass this off as something else. But then, you know, it picked up and then I found out why they did that. So I was like, all right, cool. So, yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't a bad sequel. The only thing is... I was expecting it to be more around centered around Christmas, but it was only the real time footage it was set at Christmas. Ricky talking to his shrink and then when he breaks out to go kill Mother Superior. So I was like, okay, so it's still technically a Christmas movie, it's still technically a Christmas horror film, but I was kind of, you know, maybe the other events that happened you know, maybe like Michael Myers, he just kills everybody on Christmas instead of any other day of the year. But, you know, guy can drink, can't he? <laughs> um, but the makeup was really good. There was a lot of really cool kills. I love the umbrella kill. That was definitely my favorite. And then when he blows up the guy's eye, electrocuting him, and then he's shooting everybody. And that's, of course, where Garbage Day comes from. Now, again, I had never seen these movies before, but of course I knew about Garbage Day and the the memes and all that. Um, actually, before it was a meme, I remember on message boards back in the day, people would just post the picture of it. So it was a meme before a meme, I guess. But I remember hearing about that, like, oh, that's from Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2. Oh, okay, cool. You know, interesting. <laughs> but, yeah, the makeup is really well done. The kills are well done. Um, you know, it's all practical. They put a little bit of the, you know, the little money that they had, they actually, you know, put that into the makeup effects. Now, I know some people will complain when the guy's eye blows up when he's electrocuting him. You can clearly tell that it's a dummy head. Well, no shit. I mean, you really think they're going to blow somebody's eye up for real? Are you kidding me? But it's a movie. It's not supposed to be real. I get it. Again, you're not actually going to electrocute an actor and then blow his eye up. It's, that's called murder. <laughs> um, but no, I really did like the makeup effects for this film. And, you know, the new stuff I did like. Now, I wouldn't say this is as good as the first. But, you know, it's a good little sequel. And I've heard, like I said, I've heard that this was the only sequel that was decent. The rest weren't really that good. But again, I have not watched them yet. I'm, you know, I will find out relatively soon here. I will definitely find out about three, four, and five. Because I know part three is still connected. And then four and five, I think, were other movies. And then they just called them Silent Night, Deadly Night to, I guess, sell more videos back in the day. What a surprise, like I said. They do it all, They well, they still do it all the time. You know, nothing's really changed. Um, the tactics have not really changed. 
but that's the way that it goes in the big city, so to speak. And I know people are thinking, well, this video is going to be a little bit shorter. Well, you have to understand, again, half of the movie is just reusing that footage because they didn't have any, they didn't have a lot of money to work with. So, but the new stuff I do like, and that's only, what, maybe not even 40 minutes of the film, maybe a little bit. So there's not really much new ground to cover. You know, I think I've already covered that in there. So this review will be a little bit shorter. I'm sorry to disappoint, but sometimes it's just the way that it goes. But at the end of the day, like I said, I had never seen this before. I did like it for what it was. It was a fun little sequel. Interesting to know the little behind the scenes tidbits about it. Uh, again, this is on Tubi for free, probably till the end of the year. So if you want to check this out, I do recommend it. And uh, Shout Factory also put out a pretty uh, deluxe edition of the of this movie in, in addition to the first one. So, you know, if you want to go ahead and purchase a copy, go right ahead because that's the version to get. It has all the features from all the different releases on there. So no complaints. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed my review of Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2. And next up, I will review Silent Night, Deadly Night 3. Better watch out. Better not pout. I'm telling you why. <laughs> Take care, guys. We'll talk soon. See you.